Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Texas Scale Treasures. It's me, Margaret, and I have a surprise estate sale haul for you guys today. We were doing a walkthrough of our house. Hang on, because uh, we're waiting to try, 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 still try to buy this house and close it. Blah, drama. But anyway, um, on the way back, we were we stopped at an estate sale, which turned out to be amazing, and I learned why I have such trouble finding garage sales and estate sales because the county, not where Austin is, but the next county over, Williamson County, they don't allow garage sale signs out. And I don't. I guess I have to figure out if they have like a thing where they send out a list or something like this because the only sign for this estate sale was in front of the house, that was it. So if you didn't know, it, you just didn't know, right? Which is good because then there's not a ton of people but it's bad because then you can't find them. So it just happened to be on the yard sale treasure map. So I found it. Yay. <laughs> the prices were amazing. I think they, the person was a hoarder or something, but Randy wants to go back tomorrow because it was like 10 cent, five cent quarter type prices. Um, and I spent $130. So I'm going to show you what I've got. Um, one of the things my son, it's actually bought from me for a dollar because he wants, you know, he's trying to save and earn money. And I told him how much this can go for. So this will probably sell. I told, I told him between probably between 60 and $75. No joke. So there's that. And then let me show you what I got. This whole basket full, mostly jewelry. Like so. Okay. So we'll see. Um, I didn't like pick through each thing because she had a giant basket full of baggies, like so. And I asked her, I was like, well, can I just like do you a deal and buy all your jewelry? Because I saw some that I was like, okay, this it looks pretty good. The prices are great. But she didn't want to do a deal for everything, even though most of the prices were like a dollar, 50 cents, a quarter. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but I bought some mostly jewelry, but then some other things like this one was a dollar two. So I sell these regularly for between 25 and $30 smaller ones, maybe 20. So there's that. So that will make up 30 bucks. Um, I got some pencils. This is just for us. Graphite pencils. Um, so yeah, Randy wants to go back. Hey, okay. Let me say, Hey, in the chat too, because you guys have been keeping up with me and my house drama, the drama continues the saga so I, I was so stressed like I was sick last night right and I talked to you guys if you're here and you don't know what's going on we are moving we moved from Houston to Austin we're in an apartment right now trying to close on this house so the phone, if the phone rings I might have to answer it um but hi Tom hi Joni hi every time uh hey, hey I'm just gonna say hair geek Hi, Christine and Pamela. Hi, Cindy and Kaylee. Hello, Diane. Hi, Wendy, Ruthie, and Thelma. Hello. So, the house, right? So, I told you guys, if you were watched yesterday, we went to do the final walkthrough because we were supposed to close last night, today, whenever. And there were just a couple of things I had to get done. And guess what? They weren't done. <laughs> the smoke detectors weren't fixed in one of the rooms. The lights that they had taken still weren't put back in. Um... So anyway, we had to go back this morning. Well, it was supposed to be 8.45. Then we get a call. No, you can't go there till 9. And then it's, you know, you can go there, but if the owner or the electrician is there, you cannot approach the house. I mean, it's just been bananas. And the, the, their realtor apparently is trying to bully my realtor and is saying, I can't believe you're going to blow this deal for your client over a, a scratch on the door. You know, I told you that when they move the furniture out, they scratched the whole front door up. It's going to have to be refinished and everything. Yeah. it's So anyway, we're, we're still not done. It's been cray, cray, cray. How much did you take over to the new place? I haven't done anything yet. Everything is in, pretty much everything is in pods right now. We're in this apartment. Hopefully not for very much longer. Um, oh, good. You got your first Etsy sale. Congratulations. Yay. Okay. So this um, basket that I got, this is what the prices were like. So this basket was 10 cents. She was like, do you want a brown paper bag or do you want to buy the basket it's in? I was like, well, how much is the basket? She's like, 10 cents. I'll take the basket. It's fine. 
Okay, hey boys, can y'all turn that down a bit? Because I feel like I'm having to yell over the video again. I don't want to do that. Okay, so a couple of the pieces that were more expensive, uh, I held off till the end to see how much I, I was at, like $99. <laughs> and I was like, just let's, we're already here. Let's just tip it over the edge. So this was 10 bucks. And I, and I haven't even taken anything out of the bag just yet, so we get to do this together. <laughs> so this is like a nurse's watch, right? And I don't know if it's working or anything. It's a Clifford. I don't know about the brand, but it's one of these where, I think it's called a nurse's watch, right? Because they would wear um, their watch here, you know, and then they could turn it to look at it. And if you see, 12 o'clock is on the side, right? like that so they would lift it up you know to look at it not like so but like yeah right okay so i don't know what it's worth and honestly i'm not sure i'll sell it because i just love it you know and i don't come across stuff like this so when i find stuff that's super unique and cool like this i kind of want to keep it that's i don't know um kaylee says you could sell a basket people like that kind of stuff sold one for 14 like, okay cool i mean i have i have no doubt that i'll make my money back um at all okay so i am just drop it back in the bag for now uh, but again like i say i didn't even take stuff out of the bags because i was just like you know going through the basket that she had before somebody else showed up honestly <laughs> okay so this one is stuck in here this was two dollars come here you and it is oh it's a bird okay i was like what is it i yeah this is how quickly i was moving so it's a little bird on a branch, isn't that pretty? So that was two bucks, and guess what I have, you guys? I have a loop. I bought a new one, and it came. So I don't see a maker's mark on it. It's way stronger than the, than the, what you call it? The, what was I using? The sea star thing, yay. Hey, hello. Hey, Mary. Hey, Rhiannon. Hello, Francis. Okay. Okay, then next. So this one was 50 cents. Let's see what we got. Oh, they're just little clip-ons, but I'll show you. So here we got these clip-ons, like so. 50 cents for those. Okay, cool. So some of them may not be stellar. Yeah, I know it's a lot. we got a bit to go through, like so. There's a little bit of not jewelry in there, okay? Um, but that... When you see the prices, come on. Okay, so this was 25 cents. And we were just at Hobby Lobby yesterday looking at some of the things that we actually found. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then this, this was 50 cents. Again, this was, you know, like a little Hobby Lobby thing. I don't know. You see the prices of some of these at Hobby Lobby, y'all? Oh my gosh. They had a lot more jewelry making stuff. This was one of my last pieces. So this was four bucks and it's a scarab um, bracelet. Hang on. It's, ah, this price just pulled off. So it's this scarab stone bracelet, which I don't think I'll have any trouble selling at all. So there's that. It's cool. Like so. It's really pretty. We're actually starting ancient Egypt next week. We're going to be studying more about ancient Egyptians. Hello, Unicorn Hustler. Hi. Do what? Well, it's Friday, so I don't think we're going to do it this week. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, thanks, Mary. Oh, you sold one for 30 pounds, right? Awesome. Okay, so this one was five bucks, and it's like a, a agate slice on a piece of leather, but it was just super pretty. Uh, I can't get a good – I can see through it. You can't because the light's on the other side, but it's really pretty, uh, so we'll see about that. These are a little bit more of the higher-end stuff, the higher price. And then this was another one was 10 bucks. But just wait, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, oh no, we'll take care of that migraine. Look at this, are you ready, are you ready? I don't know exactly, it looks kind of like Tibetan, Middle Eastern. I see a little stone missing, Thai. I, I don't know what the characters are, but I've got to figure it out. Because look at it, isn't it really, really pretty? There was a lot of Asian inspired stuff in the house so when we go back i might actually pick up some more things because she had a ton of chimes I actually got some wind chimes in this bag because they were a dollar for new wind chimes and 
uh, I, I, I'm going to see if I can get some footage tomorrow. It was just overwhelmingly full of stuff. I, yeah. Anyway, okay. So this was a dollar. Let's see what we got in here. Um, the beads. Yeah, yeah. They're um, scarabs. They're like this Egyptian thing, Egyptian beetle. All right, so there's this. Again, I didn't look in the, I mean, I just sort of saw that looked cool, so I got it. So this looks like it needs a little teeny repair work, but it's like jump ring attached, and it's a peacock necklace. That's cute. Okay, and that was a dollar, so that's cool. Wait, why is she moving out? Or just want to sell everything she didn't need? Oh, I don't know. It, I didn't ask why there was an estate sale. Usually it's somebody moving to an assisted living or they pass away. So I didn't ask. Okay, uh, this one was a quarter. Let's see what we've got here. It's got it wrapped around it, whatever it is. But I figured, you know, even if it turns out to be something that's not great, the ch I could use the chain for something else. So it's an NY which is New York and company, I believe. It looks like a cat's eye stone. Hang on, let me get the tape. Let me move the tape. My sister's doing so-so. That was another part of the stress because I was supposed to leave Sunday to go help take care of her. Yeah, we got like a cat's eye type stone right there. Um, so that's cool. Um, I mean, it's not an amazing shape, but that's okay. For a quarter, all right, we'll be, we'll be okay. So... Yeah, so she she's not doing amazing, you know, but she'll she'll get better. So my dad is going to switch with me instead of me going on Sunday because of all the stuff going on with the house. He's going to go Sunday, and I'll go after that. Okay, so I paid a dollar for this American flag pin, and it's really pretty. It doesn't look like it's just straight rhinestones. They almost look like little crystals in there. They're really nice. I don't know if it's coming across for you guys. So I paid a dollar for that. I've sold, was it an American flag pin or was it a bracelet for 11 bucks? So that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Okay, then we have, this was 10 cents. This might take a while. <laughs> we may have to have a two-parter. We'll see. So this was a, I mean, it, honestly, it looks like a kilt pin or a big giant baby diaper but it looks like a kilt pin to me on a keychain and it's holding a paper a safety pin i don't know anyway it was 10 cents i was like okay even if it goes into a lot okay <laughs> here we've got another 10 cents that has got a little cross in there and i couldn't tell if it was tarnished or just just, you know, messed up, so that's it there. But it was 10 cents. Look what else I got. It's not silver. Um, I got I got a magnet wand, and it's bigger than I anticipated. I'm one of those people that apparently doesn't read the description before she buys something, because I thought this was smaller. But now I've got, like, the magnet wand of fury. Watch out. Or I will attract you. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not. No, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Used to hold knitting projects, Chrissy says. Okay, the keychain's probably for a safety pin. Pasta, yeah, I mean, that's true. Um, let's see. Not very late. We just started. Uh, ooh. <laughs> for when I drop. Yeah, isn't it ginormous? And, and the thing is, is I was like, I better buy more than one because I know me and I'm going to lose it. So I bought three of them. So, which, I'm going to keep one in the car, and um, I don't know why, I just thought that it was going to be, like, smaller. I didn't read the, I didn't read the description, apparently, but hey, it's cool. Let's use it to get this thing out of the bag. How about that? <laughs> ah! All right, so this was a quarter, um, and it is, you know, just like a little pearly rhinestone bracelet, but it was a quarter. I mean, my thought was, you know, even if it ends up in a lot for prices at a quarter and 10 cents, I'll still make money back even if it goes into a lot or not. Okay, here we've got the skills of justice. Let's see what it looks like. 
That would be great if you guys still see something in front of Oh, that's right. If somebody's like encroaching, I'll just take my magnet and like, psh, psh, right? <laughs> I like it. Or back off, man. Psh, it's like a taser, taser stick. Psh. Yeah. There's so many people around here with facial jewelry too. I could just like, you know, like they got a ring in their lip. And so I like that, like, look, and like sticks on them. And then like, I can just like direct them out of the way, like take them by their face jewelry and be like, shoot, go over there, face jewelry guy. <laughs> I wouldn't do that for real. <laughs> oh, the guy with the black cat had face jewelry. Maybe I should have this with my pepper spray to face jewelry, the, the face jewelry dude. Get them away from my kids. <laughs> okay. If you use that magnet like a wand, you have to throw Harry Potter smells at the same time for effect. That's right. <laughs> Expecto Patronum. Formava. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. A Niffler. That, that, that's my spirit animal. Okay. So it is it is magnetic, but I still think it's super cool. So I don't think I'll have a problem selling it. Did someone say Niffler? Are you going to get the Niffler for me? If you know the Niffler in the Harry Potter or in Fantastic Beast, Niffler is the one that sniffs out the gold and he's got a little pouch. He puts the gold in and jewels and gems. Here, take Niffler. There. Okay. <laughs> Double trouble. <laughs> That's right. Um, it's too big. You may not lose it now. Yeah. Um, okay. So here we go. Keep it on. Keep it on. Okay. So this was $3. And this looks like a, a wedge wood. I think it is a wedge wood. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we've got a Wedgwood heart. This was three bucks. So that should do okay. I saw the Wedgwood ring. Let's see if it's marked. It is marked. Yeah. So it's that Jasper wear. Like so. Okay. Um Yeah, actually I just put my shops back on vacation. Now that we might actually be moving, moving, moving. Yeah, so <sighs> we'll get there. Okay. And I don't, yeah, things are everywhere. Okay, so this is 10 cents and it was a wishbone pin. I'll leave that in the bag. Uh, this was a dollar. So let's take it out and see what we got. Um, it is, so it's missing some little. I think it's missing some stones. Yeah, it is. It's missing some stones, but that's okay. I figure with everything, and I was trying to kind of rush that it was if there was a chance that something like that might happen. But it's still pretty. I wonder if I could get. I bet I could. Little pearls to poke in there, or if it ends up in a lot, that's fine. So every. I mean, once everything averages out, <laughs> my red Dixie cat. We are living small in this house. We don't have like cutlery. I wanted a watermelon, but I don't have a knife to cut it with. So, yeah, we packed everything up. We're really not, we don't have a lot. Oh, no problem. Okay, so this was 50 cents. No problem, hair geek. And I, I know you've told me your name before. Sorry. Okay, so here we, what is going on with this? Because it looks like a little boat on here too. What's with the boat? I don't know. How about we try, okay, so this is on here like so. But then also up here, it looks like a little gondola charm or something. Isn't that cute? I gotta figure out why it's all tangled though. But things are tangled up up here. So, hello, I believe. <laughs> so that's cool, that was 50 cents, not bad. I think that'll do okay. Then we have this was a dollar for these really pretty blue beads. It looks like either they're floating, um, where there's you know, they're stoppers. I guess I could take it out, but I don't want if it's broken, I don't want beads going every which way. But I like the beads a lot. Let's see. Oh no, it's okay. It's on fishing wire, my favorite. No, oh, fishing wire always ends up getting tangled up. But the beads are really pretty, so that's okay. So here we go. This was 10 cents. Oh, thank you, Billy. <laughs> okay, so 10 cents, and we have a cat and a kitten, like 
almost like a scatter pin. Hang on, here we go. There's a cat and a little kitten with a ball of yarn and a chain connecting the two. Isn't that sweet? Or like maybe like sweater pins? It's not very far. Anyway, that was 10 cents. And there is a mark on that. So let me see if it's like Avon or something. Yep, Avon. So that's a little Avon. But it's cats. So that would be okay. Cats. All right, then we have a dollar for this ring. And it looks like um, either a gator or an iguana on a little stretchy band ring with like hematite stones. Let's see? Well, that's a good price for that, a buck. Pardon me, my throat is dry. Right? Cats rule. Okay, then we've got a, this is like a scarf clip thing, you know, where the scarf will go through there. And that was a quarter. I will take some other things out just at the moment. Some of them are small enough you can see. This is cute. This was a buck, and it's a heart with little stones and an arrow going through it. So I thought that was sweet. It was a dollar. Look, we're still, we still have a ways to go. So we'll see. We may end up with a two-parter on our hands. Okay, then for a buck, Cajun alligator, yes. His, his head is kind of small for his body, though. All right, this was a dollar. I am going to take it off because I want to see it all the way because it's pretty cross. It looks like it might be missing a stone in the front. I'm feeling with my finger. I'll have to call that back later. Okay. If it's a house call, I'm going to, I'll am gonna. i have to take it, and then you guys will have to play. Usually I'll say play I Spy with the things behind me because I have a shadow box, you know, but... There's no I spy. I spy something white. <laughs> anyway, okay, so yeah, again, even if it ends up in a lot, that's okay. Let's check this chain. There we go. The chain is magnetic. And when I use my magnet, <laughs> I have to say this, when I use the magnet, it doesn't mean, okay, 10 cents, that if it's not magnetic, that it's for sure silver or gold. It just means that I need to look at it further to see if it's like stainless steel or plated or something else. But, okay, so there's this little ring and it is magnetic. It does have a, a mark in there, even though it's magnetic. It's, uh, I can't tell what that mark says. Anyway, it's, it's like an arrow with a U. I feel like I've seen this mark before. It's like a, a capital U with an arrow going through it. I mean, even just for play, it's a cute little, you know, solitaire type ring, right? So, and it was 10 cents, so I think we're good. Official disclaimer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys know, especially if you've been watching for a bit. There are people, whatever, 10 cents. <laughs> okay, then this one for 10 cents, I got this cutesy pootsy little elephant. He's quite distressed and got, you know, yeah. Anyway, some of his, his finish is worn off and stuff like that. But I don't think it'll matter. I think somebody's going to love him. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, moving on. We got 50 cents. And this is a brooch. Let me show it to you through the bag. It's pretty straightforward. Kind of like a checkerboard. Maybe I would use chess. Like a chess player might like it, even though there's not enough spaces for actual chess. But if you were like a chess maven, you might like that. This one was 10 cents, and it is another just little pin, like so. Again, I figured, you know, for some of these prices, even if they go into a lot, you can't, you know, it's 10 cents. So here we've got this little heart. That was 10 cents too. Unka's jewelry is a G. Okay, I'll have to look that up. You okay, so that's magnetic, but still, you know, 10 cents. So this was 50 cents, and it looks like sweater clips. I feel like I'm getting to look at it with you as well, because I just kind of like glanced at it and made quick judgments. Like, is it cool? Does it look cool? Okay, cool, cool. So this was 50 cents, and again, it is little, it's a sweater clip, you know, you to hold your sweater on. So that's cute. Oh, 50 cents for that. What am I going to do? My bags are piling up. 
Do I just drop them on the floor? I think I'm going to have to do that. Okay, they're going on the floor for a second because I'm running out of space. They're going to start falling anyway. That's okay. Okay, how are we doing? I keep thinking how much she spent, how much. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> for the bag. And everything was priced with this tape. I'm just thinking how long it took to do that. And this, I'm going to try to get some footage tomorrow. Just wait. It is insane. But every little bitty, little teeny thing had a price, like even a pen had like a piece of tape wrapped around it. I mean, I can't imagine how long it took. Okay, so this, you know, it's missing stones and it's, you know, kind of a mess. But it was 10 cents. And again, my thought process was, well, well, you know, even if it goes into like a crafter's lot, it was 10 cents. And I wasn't looking super close at everything. So I was okay with that. I did leave some stuff behind, believe it or not. All right, so this is 25 cents to butterfly brooch. So that'll do well. That's cute right there. So I like it because it's like an open work kind of filigree. You can see the wings. They're pretty, pretty, pretty. Hmm. Hang on one second, just in case. Hello. This is she. Oh hi hi um I'm calling because the 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 yard guys came to my um, other property and I called it I canceled the um, service a while back and uh, my my tenants let me know that the yard crew showed up but I canceled service like a month ago um, it was either Shane or, or Al. Okay, I want to make sure I don't get charged because I know I, I, I talked. I, was, I think it was Shane I talked to. You. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Bye bye. The yard crew kept showing and showed up at my other house today. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, sorry, y'all. So this was in there. All right, it's a little. All. So that was 10 cents. And it's got, what is that on there? I guess it's a goose or what is that? That's a goose, right? Or it's not a swan, is it? No. Anyway, guess who's calling? Yeah. <laughs> the yard crew. I mean, come on. There's just one thing after another, right? Okay, it's so 25 cents. It's a keychain of a um, dream catcher. So for that, then this was $2. And it's a really pretty cross. Hi, Kitty's Creations. Sorry about having to take the phone call. Got to do, got to, I just had to do it. I'm, I'm waiting to hear from the, because we're closing on this house. Just come on, man. So this one might, let's see, do we think there's any stones missing? Oh, it looks okay. Isn't that pretty? So that was two bucks. I think that'll do well. With all the purpley stones and stuff. <laughs> you know, it doesn't appear to be missing any stones. Isn't that pretty? Okay. It's giving you jewelry withdrawals. I've got a ton of it here, too. A ton of it, I say. All right, this was a quarter, and it's another little ring. Let me show you. I think it's a cross on there. It's a goose. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's a little cross ring. So I think even if it's, um, I don't think it'll matter. I don't know. I think somebody's just going to love it. I think. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, oh, wait. You're sure? Oh, okay. Here we go. And then this is from World Market. It says it's just two dollars. Still has the tags with it. So is it? Oh, it's another one of these. Okay. Ta-da! It's another one of those. Cool. Honestly, I was like, I was telling the kids like, this lady had so much stuff and so much random stuff, and then stuff that I was just like, why does she have this? Like, you know, if you have Waterburger where you are, it's you know a hamburger joint. But they have these little tent, like table tent things when you get, you know, your number for your order. And they're red and white. I mean, not red and white. Orange and white striped. And it's got the number on there. And she has some of those. So I was just like, is she, was she a kleptomaniac? Was she like just like pocketing things to bring home? She had so much weird random stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, Diane, the stuff from overseas did show up. 
it showed up the day I moved to Austin. So my mom has it and I haven't seen her yet to get it. <laughs> okay, so this was a dollar and it's just, you know, this silver, I mean, the silver gold tone chain necklace. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was real? But I don't think so. Okay. Um, here we go. Just to check. There we go. See it moving? Oh, okay. So, no maker's mark that I could see. But anyway, I think it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Uh, I was in jewelry heaven. I saw the basket and I was like, what? Yes. All right, so here, this was three bucks for this necklace. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something in the chat. Okay. There's this. Am I reopening? I am going to reopen eBay. Yeah. Because some of the jewelry I find like this or like the world market stuff is not um, vintage. So I have to, you know, some of it will go on eBay. And then I just do. I find random things. So, yeah. This is really pretty. I really like this. So um, I am going to be doing some, some more lots to kind of weed things out, though. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun to get started with. This was $2, and these are some really cute little pink rose earrings, like so, like that. And then this was two bucks, and it's a big ring. It looks like, almost like a cigar band. Hang on. So it looks like this. I just really liked it. And it, you know, even though it has the wear on the back, you know, it's not too worn. I mean, it just looks, Distress. I don't see any missing stones or anything either. So I think somebody's going to love it. When am I going to reopen the Etsy shop? The plan is to get into the house. And then, because <laughs> um, then, I'm, I know Mary, right? I thought of you. <laughs> I'll just set that to the side over there. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, once we get in the house, because pretty much all of my inventory is here with us. Some of it went into the pod, but once I get into the other house, I don't know, Mary, <laughs> it's that size, <laughs> it's that size. Um, yeah, I'll put it to the side. I'll get my ring sizer and I'll tell you uh, after. Okay, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, what? because I'll have my own workroom again, finally, and I'll be able to organize things and get things squared away. Yeah, so that'll be good. Okay, next, there's this was 50 cents, and again, it's just like a little pearly, oh, they're earrings, little pearly earrings, and this was a quarter, and it's a little angel pendant. I just liked it because it was, it had a crystal on it, so I thought somebody might enjoy that, and that was a quarter. There go the neighbors, and then I am going to take this one out because it is damaged. It was two bucks, but... I still think it's interesting. So it's got, it just looks super old. I don't know, maybe I'm a sucker. I brought it home, it's a broken butterfly. Maybe I can, <laughs> I can market it as that broken butterfly um, roach. I don't know, maybe I will. Because some of the um, abalone shell is cracked out, you know, of it. I don't know. I just still, you know, it looks so old and yeah. When is merch talk coming back? I'll have to talk to the guys because we've been taking a bit of a break with with my move and just, I don't know. I think the other the guys felt like they needed a break too. But we'll be back. And I told them, I was like, you guys put it on your channel. You don't have to do it on my channel. You know, if y'all want to, you know, just do it. So talk to them too. Okay, I just realized these are not the same size earrings. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there's these, not same size earrings. One of them has, one of them has a stainless steel kind of post, and one of them has like a gold sort of post. <laughs> I need like, I need a sound effects. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Put some craft lots together. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? Okay, good. I was thought you were telling me. I was like, yeah, I will. So then we've got this. This was two bucks. And it's got like, a piece of Powellite in there with this. 
it feels like, I don't know, hair, really coarse hair, whatever it is. <laughs> Magic wand sound effects, yes. Ding! And then these, which are trying to look like bone, but I don't think they're really bone. I don't think. No, they're, I don't think. I'll, I'll have to look at them a little closer. Maybe they are. It feels like they're trying too hard to look like them. Does that make sense? I don't know. And then the price tag on the back is covering. Is it something cool? Nope, it's a piece of leather. I don't know. Maybe it's, anyway, it's very tribal. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. That's good to know. All right, so here, this one was a buck. <laughs> You're playing slot machines on Facebook. <laughs> I, that sounds like fun. Slot machines. I don't think I've played that. Okay. Then this was a buck, and I, look, it's a mystery. What is it? I think it's an angel. <laughs> Why did they put the tape on it and then put it in a bag and price it, too? Okay, I'm not going to take the tape off right now. It's an angel. I just can't imagine how long it took. Horse hair, yeah, yeah. And then look at these cufflinks, 25 cents. These are really nice. So these ones will probably go, because they're in really nice shape, from what I can tell. These cufflinks. So I'll probably price these around the $20 mark. So I don't think I'll have any trouble getting my money back. So let me see how long we've been at it, because then I'll show you a few things that aren't jewelry. 36 minutes. Wow, and look at this. I've only like scratched the surface. Okay, let me scooch some of the, the jewelry over to show you. So I got some tapes like these, because the, the boys like to record stuff. There's a few more. And then film, this was 50 cents for some 35 millimeter film. That's right, 35 millimeter, isn't that what you call it? It's been so long. I think that's what you call it. Uh, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. And then this one, here we go, ready for it? Five cents for the film, five cents. Again, 10 cents on the tapes, yeah. And then, like this I'll probably sell for sure, but that was a quarter. And these these are expensive new. I can't remember exactly how much they go for, but I remember seeing them thinking, oh, those are cute, and picking it up. It's like a scooper. I've seen them like in fancy, like Sur La Table, fancy kitchen stores. I'm like, oh, look how cute the scooper is. And you pick it up and look at the price, and you're like, oh, it's just not that cute, right? But for a quarter, I was like, oh, it's cute, yeah. Oh, bye, Karen. Need to go. Um, see you later. Okay, I'm sure I'm missing something. Um, no. ah, too many jewelry bags, Jen says. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, are they? Oh, good. The cufflinks are coming in and come back. They were, and they were during Mad Men too, like when, when Mad Men was really big. So yeah, what's the rainbow thing? This is like a scooper. Scoop, like for bath salts or other salts. I don't know. So then also I got some lighter covers. This one actually has a lighter in it, but they are fancy lighter covers. So this was two bucks and it's got this inlay. Um, and you would just slide your lighter in there. But there were some other ones that I got. Let's see if I can find them in my bag of tricks here. Maybe not. Oh, wait, there's one. So this was a buck. It's a, you know, a cloisonne lighter cover. You would slide your lighter in for a dollar. Cool? All right, here's another one. I remember having stuff like this. This was five cents. That is a blast from the past. I remember, like, pins like this, right? Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, Cindy, he bought himself a camera at a garage sale. How much was that camera, James? It was $2. $2. He bought a camera at a garage sale, and it came with two rolls of, of new film. And so he's really um, been having fun playing with that. I do, Cindy, I have a new P.O. box. I put it on my Texas Gal Treasures YouTube channel on the, on the top banner up there. So it'll say P.O. box, whatever it is, Round Rock. Um, so yeah. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah. And I, and I know you can sell it too. So 
But we'll see. We're going to develop this other film first before we let him go at it with a, just to make sure the camera works and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> didn't know lighter cover existed. Yeah. Candy Scooper. Okay. Um, oh, that's sweet. Okay. So then, look, here we go. This is one of the wind chimes. I was thinking of taking this to my sister. So this was a cool 25 cents for this wind chime. And my, if you've seen any images or videos that we've done for my sisters, um, she has a giant covered deck and she has tons of wind chimes around. So this was Porter. Sounds good too, right? Yeah. So there's that. So I was gonna take that out to her um, for the wind chimes. And they had more, so if they still have more tomorrow when I go back, I'm gonna get some more wind chimes. Um, yeah, expired film can be worth, oh yeah. So, well, I'll leave the scoop to the side. I'll put it with Mary's ring over there. If you let me know. Um, okay, so well, let me pull out the other wind chimes because these ones are ones I'm gonna keep. So these ones were a dollar and these are gonna go on my new patio or deck, whatever it's, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, don't be tangled, please. So these ones are tangled, of course. <laughs> Only because I said it was for me, right? Thanks a lot. Wind chimes. So these ones were a dollar. They sound good, right? Anyway, so I, I don't know. I mean, I figure for a dollar, that's pretty good, right? Nature's Melody is what it's called. Anyway, so Nature's Melody wind chimes. From, I'm guessing it's a nice brand, handcrafted, Woodstock chimes. So there's like a a certificate of authenticity or something in here. I don't know. Anyway, that was a dollar. <laughs> so there's a, yeah, my sister likes the charm. She likes, it's really peaceful out of her place. I don't know if you've seen any of the the, the videos that we've done. Um, okay, and then random, I got some socks because on our last, what was it? The Bolo video that we did, um, a number of people have bought stuff, like medical stuff, right, to, to resell. And so these are diabetic and circulatory socks. So I got these for a buck, and there's two pairs. So options are I'm going to look them up and see what they go for. And if if I don't sell them, then I'll give them to my dad because he's, he's diabetic. He might want them. I don't know. But I think his medi medical, Medicare? Medicare. Medicare pays for them. I don't know. Oh, cool. Uh, Bl Blandine says bought a bag of joy for three bucks and so one piece for three three dollar now profit nice okay um yeah my my sis likes the wind chimes she's got a really a really nice place out there where she's got okay so here's another thing I got for a buck this is gonna go maybe in our new garage so it's twine this is like a cast metal it's really heavy it's a cat and then here along the top you can see there's like a little razor blade so if you need some twine, you're like pulling it up and like cut it on the thing, right? I thought that was cool. That was a dollar. That's a cat. Wow. Cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I keep noticing I'm doing this. I never used to do that. And I, I keep catching myself doing it. And it's driving me nuts. Like that. Oh, I hate that sound too. Like some, So, okay, so more of these for 10 cents. My guys, okay, so I'm sorry I told you that. Okay, shall I do things to annoy you? How about instead of Chuck E. Cheese tonight, we go, I don't know, hit the Goodwills. <laughs> okay, well, don't annoy me. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, it's your choice. Okay, so we got some more. Um, Oh yeah, yeah. I and we, I need to do more of those. Hi, hi, hi. Go over there and hit the thumbs up too. I forgot to ask. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go do it too because I like my video. <laughs> All right, so we've got some more stuff that were like Hobby Lobby Michaels type. So this is chain. You know, my guys are getting into steampunk, so that's something they can play with. There is more jewelry, but I'm trying to decide if I want to keep going with the jewelry. Here's another roll of film, five cents. I mean, those were the prices. Could you imagine? Like every little thing in the house had like this. Five cents, you know, or 10 cents. The amount of time it would have taken just to write five cents and tear the tape and stick it on. Um, I'm digging down to the bottom to see what else I can show you. So this was a quarter. Isn't it cute? The little beaded 
purse thing and it snaps open. Let me see. See, it opens. I mean, I guess it's an ornament or I don't know. I mean, because what are you going to do? You can't, I can barely even get it on my wrist. You can't even put your ID in it a bit. I don't know. Anyway, it's cute. That's what's cute. The penny sale, <laughs> right? Okay, so let's see what else. How long have we been? Maybe I'll finish. Let's see. Let's see how, how long we've been at it. 45 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. So two bucks. We have this yin yang inlaid abalone necklace. That's nice. And then this was three dollars. And it is. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh yeah, it looks retro, not vintage at a glance. Oh yes, I don't think it's super duper old. You're right. Um, so this was three dollars, and it's this necklace with all these pearls. It looks like there's one missing up top. But I think that's replaceable pretty easily. I don't see a maker's mark or anything. And this chain does not go with that necklace. <laughs> Where's my wand? <laughs> Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh. I need a better I need a better sound. I need a, like a button I can push because I don't I don't know. What do you what do you know socks do you put i um it helps the circulation because i know diabetics have trouble with their circulation all right this was two dollars and again it looks like it's missing a stone but i don't know we'll see it's missing that center stone but i might be able to find something to put in there it's really pretty though it's still really pretty i think and that's the closure for it it does look like it's marked Chaps. All right. There's that. Uh, I'm sure the poor woman was rattled thinking what it was. Maybe. All right. So this was a quarter, and it's just a little jewelry box. I need to just wipe it down. But for a quarter, I mean, that's a nice little, just a nice little box. Rings. Hmm. You know, quarter. Wow. Okay. 25 cents and it's this charm holder type necklace. Hang on, let me show you. Like so, so you can hang all these little different charms on here. And it is magnetic. Ta-da. But I still, I mean, I don't think, I still think I'll be able to sell it. Does it YouTube have sound effects? Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's my control room? Oh, there you are. Oh, wait. Oh, it's wanting me to sign in and do... What did it do? Oh, gosh. What did I do? Okay. I've got to figure out my Hangout toolbox. But it does. You're right. Because, right? I think Jason uses those. Or he may have his own. But it does have... Okay. I'm going to get some. All right. So this was three bucks. This crucifix. Hang on. Um, so here's this. And honestly, I was like, this looks... Like it could have been gold, even though it's, I don't know. I was looking at the back of it like so, um, or not, not, it's magnetic, but look at it. It's ginormous. And I've seen like gold stuff like this that is legit gold. So hang on. This is, is it still acting funky? Okay. Hang on. My thing is being weird. Let me close this out there, there, there. Okay, so yeah, I I will still not have a problem selling this ginormous crucifix. Yeah, it was three bucks. So, oh, I, you know, I, I thought you were talking to me in the chat, and then I realized, well, oh, it's a side, it's a side chat. All right, so for a dollar, we got this sea, um, sand dollar pin. I'm trying to pick it up so I can finish for you guys. This was a quarter. It was one clip on. So there's that. I think I thought it was a brooch when I got it, but that's okay. This one I'm going to take out. This was three bucks. Um, all right. So this was $3, and it's got this stone in it and this little probably faux pearl. But the stone is a stone. So. It's really interesting. I'm so, so far, I don't see any kind of maker's mark on it, which is surprising. This is the back, like so. So really pretty, really unusual. 
brooch. I like it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, then, yeah. I don't know. I think it's so unusual. So that was $3. Isn't that pretty, that green stone? Um, my throat is super dry, y'all. All right, we're going for it. We're going to make it. <laughs> this was 50 cents, this dragon. Just tape on the back that you're seeing through there. And this is copper, a big copper brooch, like so. That was $3. Okay. Yeah, I, again, I don't think I'm going to have any problem. This is a 50 cent lapel pin, little butterfly. And then this was a dollar. Again, there was stuff like this. It's kind of Asian inspired. Um, yeah, there, there were like things like this hanging all over the walls and like stained glass stuff. And I don't know, there was just a ton. So that was a dollar. I'll have to find out more about that. I don't know what the deal with that is, but it was a dollar. So they had some baby dolls too. We were looking baby at baby dolls. That's my okay. Then there's this three bucks. Wasn't that copper brooch? Yeah. That's all for favorite. Okay. Then we have looks like a little teeny locket. Hang on, let me show you. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny little locket with a cross on it. And this is, it's marked Napier right here. So whether the locket is Napier as well, I'm not sure. Um, hang on, I'm trying to see because it's all tang kind of tangled up on here. I'm going to open the locket and see what I see. Adventure, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, bye Mary, see you later. I have that ring set to the side. So I can see what size it is for you. All right, so there's the inside of the little locket. <clears throat> All right, um, uh -huh. very magnetic, very magnetic. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> Pardon me, y'all. Uh, we have a little, this was 10 cents, just a little rose lapel pin, 50 cents for, this heart and it's got like two loops. I don't know if you can see one of them there. So like a chain would go here and here to chain it out, to chain it out, to make it a necklace. So that'll probably go into a lot, but I figured, you know, that's cool. So this was a quarter. Again, just, you know, a little, is it open? I think it opens, ah, there we go. Like so, that was a quarter. So still, I could still sell this on Etsy, even though it's new, because it's a craft. You could use it for crafts. Crafts! And this brooch was a dollar. It's a heart. I'm a fuck, baby, they can dance like a man. I can shake them like I can shake them like I can. All right, so there's that. Really pretty red heart brooch. And blah, 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 blah. 10 cents, look at the little black angel kitty. Little black angel kitty enamel brooch. This was a quarter and it was, it's a cowboy hat. I'm gonna take it out. Um, so here we go. Little cowboy hat on the gold chain. And I'm gonna get my wand, my fancy wand. I'm a fuck, baby. They Good heavens. I can shake them up, Benny. I can shake them up. Goodness. Okay, it does have a mark on there. Let me see what my loopy says. Oh, it says Korea. Korea. All right, so cowboy hat, necklace. That'll be a fun sell. For a quarter. That was a deal. And this, I think, 25 cents, I think it's a choker. Let's see. I just thought, yeah, it's a choker. It's a small choker. Is it a dog choker? Look at that. It is very tiny. We're not going to measure our necks again, are we? It looks like it was made smaller. You can see where it's been altered. Maybe somebody had a very tiny neck. And maybe I'll just put it on the cat. <laughs> I don't know. 
Maybe it can be for Mimi. Oh, Mimi. Anyway, okay, still going. Look, guys, I sold something like this not knowing that it was like this. I want to say it was on the video where I, the necklaces I sold for 25 bucks or more, I sold something almost exactly like this. How much would I sell? I have to go back and see. Yeah, 25 cents. So, all right, let me pull this stuff out because this, we're going to finish. I may go over the hour, sorry, but we're going to finish this. I'm pulling this out of the basket because the basket is scratchy and it's scratching my lap. You remember that? I know, right? Hang on. I'm pulling all the stuff out and then we'll finish. Okay. Scratchy, scratchy. Hang on. Something fell. Gotta get it. Reaching. There we go. Okay. Aha. All right. So 50 cents. Stop falling all the stuff. Hang on. There's some teensy gold tone cowboy hat post earrings. Oh, cute. Um, Trade them for your bright red mod earrings. <laughs> okay. So there's this little ring. Um, Again, just 50 cents. Little, little ring. Let's see. And then a dollar for this necklace. Is the, uh oh. Is the baby getting sick? Is it oh my fellow's over there? I think he's okay. So this is like a Maltese cross, but it's missing a couple stones. So let me show you. I don't know what I mean. So it was a buck. But you can see it's missing, and they're really unusual shape. They're kind of like drop shaped. I don't think I noticed that, but still, I probably still would have gotten it because in a craft lot, that's going to be really showy. So I think it'll be okay for a dollar. I'm trying to see if there's a brand because some, like I say, some brands it doesn't matter, and there are people that love Maltese crosses like this, even though it's missing stuff. Isn't it pretty? Pretty. Okay, this is a quarter. These little onks and that whatever it is is broken. I guess it's a cross, but there's no back on it. Okay, then there's another lighter holder for a dollar. I'm telling you, we hit the jackpot. We got a ton of stuff. This was 50 cents. Let me pull it out. I'm going to take this out. Vicky, I'll have to talk to you, so I'll have to pull all my stuff out. Oh, these are pretty. Ooh. Okay. These earrings. Hang on. These ones are not magnetic, which doesn't mean that they're gold, but I'm going to look at them closer because I have another pair of earrings that are gold that have the same kind of closure that aren't even marked. Hang on, where's my loopy doo? Look, 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 you are, you are my witness. I had a loop here and I have not gotten up from this spot. There it is. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. I, I, uh, I'm going to test these. I have my testing kit. Because I'm looking. Like I look. When I when it doesn't have a mark. And it's not magnetic. So I look around the areas where it's like. Scratches against itself. You know. These type of places. Or the spots where it's like rubbing. Against like rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. To see if there's any. Wear. Right. Because if it was like gold plated there would be wear around those little pieces, but there's no wear. Hmm. Like bite it. Um, so I will let you know on these ones. So you have some like that that are from Iran that are gold. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to put these to the side because I have my gold kit in the other room. So I'm going to set these to the side and I'm going to test them. And I'll let you know 
So if you follow me like on Instagram or if you're in jewelry, Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers, I'll let you know. I think I'm gonna keep them either way because I think they're pretty. So there's a bear, I didn't open it. It was a dollar. Or we get to open it together, ready? Let's see what's in it. It's a little bear. Balloon, necklace, cute, okay. Did you, no, I found it, I found it. Okay, so this was 50 cents. There was a lot of stuff kind of like this there too, like stained glass type stuff. So 50 cents, little stained glass sun catcher thing. This was 10 cents. It's a, oh, there we go. Looks like so. A brooch with baseball stuff. It's really fancy for a baseball brooch. I don't know. Okay. And, okay, I'm going to set that to the side because it says no matches. So that was 50 cents. It's a little butter knife, but I just thought it was so cute. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. In the kitchen, like every little thing like this was, was you know, labeled 50 cents for a little spoon. I just loved it. And it's uh, an orchid. I think that's an orchid or something, a daylily. It might be a daylily. I think that's a daylily. Okay. So, oh, okay. Candy Cat says, I used to work at Piercing Pagoda. Yeah, I remember that. A lot of the jewelry wasn't marked and they had different trays for 10K, 14K. Oh, that's cool to know. All right. So, we've got this hematite magnet bracelet. Then 25 cents. I want to take this one out so I can look at it closer. It's a butterfly. But it's got, I've got to see what kind of stone that is. So it's got these like, oh, no, they're shells, aren't they? Oh, they're shells. My, from my eyes up close. So they're like shells for the wings. That's cool. All right. Can you guys go down there? Then this was $3. And I, again, didn't, I didn't get a good look at it. No, no starfish today. Um, oh, what is it? Okay, it looks like, yeah, let me pull it up close. It looks like there's a Buddha. Maybe that's a Buddha. There's a dragon. You see a dragon down here? What is this? I'm trying to figure out what it's made from. So, can you see the dragon? All the swirls and all the, I think it's the Buddha. Look at his earlobes. He's got the long earlobes. That's a sign of enlightenment. Where's a piece of paper? <laughs> I need a paper. I'm rubbing it to see if it leaves a mark. Uh, no, it's not leaving a mark. So I'll have to figure out what this black stone is. Very cool though. That was three bucks. I couldn't make out what it was and I was in such a rush. I didn't, I didn't stop to see, so that's really cool. I like that. So another little harmonica ball thing or charm ball and that has I think that's supposed to be a whale maybe on it it's supposed to, I think it's supposed to be a whale okay then uh, this was two dollars and I think it's supposed to have a lid I think I messed up I don't know it's just a little tray or a little box I think it's supposed to have a lid for it. So that was oh, my oops on that. Maybe it'll turn up <laughs> in one of these other bags. So two bucks for these crosses, kind of a Celtic cross. Let me pull these out. We've got this one here. Isn't that pretty? And this one here. And that, oh, those are really pretty. I'm looking for any kind of marks on them. They're super cute, though. I really like them. No, I don't see any marks. Yeah. But those are, I really like this one a lot. I like that a lot. Hey, Shelby. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, so there's those. Yeah, when I get done, I'm going to test those earrings because I have a sneaking suspicion they might be gold. Okay, this really cute bracelet, very Texas. This was $2. And it's got a boot and a cactus and a Texas and a flag and a cowboy hat and the Alamo longhorn or rather a skull, a cow skull, and a bronco. Now then, do you have a maker's mark? Isn't that cool? So that was two bucks. 
And I don't see, hang on, I'm trying to take the tape off and see if there's any kind of hang tag or something over here. Quit it, tape. I just can't imagine like putting the tape on every little bitty thing. And then the bag, right? And then labeling the bags as well. That's so labor intensive. I can't imagine how long it must have taken them to do all that. Okay, I don't see any maker's mark on this at all. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I'm looking at the base of all the little charms to see if I see anything. Nope, 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 nothing. Cute. Okay, so that'll sell. Yep. Then a dollar for this necklace. And it's just like a drop. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to figure out how we're going to describe that. That's interesting. Okay. Where's my wand? Not that I, I don't think this is really gold or anything. Nope. Ta-da. All right. Let's see. You guys doing okay? It got really quiet in the chat. Hope all is well. This is a quarter. And I, it's, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's a pin. I know that much. But I just don't know if it's supposed to be something. It looks like that. That's it. I can't. No, no, no. <laughs> just watching. Okay, good. <laughs> um, here we have a 50 cent brooch that looks really old. So you need one of those magnet sticks. I'll, I'll link it below because I got it from Amazon. It's bigger than I thought. Look at how pretty this is. So this is 50 cents. What are you sewing, Nini? 50 cents. Let me take the sticker off, the tape off rather. Hmm. I'm looking. There's no marks or anything, but it feels like it's an older piece. Like it doesn't look like a reproduction old piece. I don't know. What's the back? Hmm. Okay, that was 50 cents. I'll have to look at it closed. A dress. Oh, cool. Is it for you or for someone else? I have my sewing machine here too, but I haven't busted it out. All right, this was 50 cents. We're getting there, y'all. And this is a little angel pin with a locket, like so. And I'm, I always like to see if there's anything in there. Nobody's home. Nobody's home inside, but... Some green, which is not a good sign, but okay. All right, 50 cents for that. I can clean it up. Get, get, get in there. And then this was a buck, this big shell necklace. This was 25 cents. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll link it. Oh, there's that. Isn't that cute? Just a little charm of some sort. Oh, library theme fabric you found at the uh, thrift store. Sweet. All right, this is a dollar. And I, I got the necklace to match that. So there's that bracelet. Keep thinking about those earrings. I want to go test them. <laughs> um, 50 cents for these earrings in here. Let me check something real fast. Oh, no. Okay. The, and the other, the jewelry magnet link that I have in there is like for a different magnet, too. So I'll update it. I will. Hang on. I was checking this out, trying to see. Okay. That's, it says Avon, this little earring. But there's only one of them. One little Avon earring. And then there's some just little studs. And those were 50 cents. Copy of a Victorian stamp holder. Hmm. Okay. Um, 25 cents for this, I think it's a tie clip or tie bar, let me check it, yeah, tie bar, so we've got a tie bar with a chain, so the little chain would hang outside the tie, you know, oh, sweet, Nini says she found a, a gold brooch in a jar and had opals in it, beautiful, 25 cents for that, and we're getting there, we got some clip-on, these are clip-on sand dollars for three dollars. A brooch, it's a leaf with a cluster of little pearls for a dollar. This ginormous butterfly. But look at the back, watch. It needs two pins, or I need to find two pin backs for it. Looks like that. But look at this butterfly, isn't it gorgeous? 
That was a dollar. I think I should, yeah, I should do this. Um, we have a tie pin. It was a quarter. And I think, tell me what you think. I think it might be some, I thought that was a Jasper. It looks brighter red in the light. It's more orangey. What do you think? Is that, is that a Jasper? Maybe. I'll have to double check. Hello, Glenn. Small pictures in the house. Hello, hello. Okay, there's that. We got a couple more. We have some jacks, which I didn't realize were I didn't realize they were jacks. Who put some jacks in a bag? It's like five cents. I did. Oh, I was that where it came from? Yeah, my he he wanted the bag. And I get a the jacks. It was a tie pin. Yeah, Days of Adventure. It was a all right, and this, this is a heart keychain for a quarter, and it's got a bell in it. And then 10 cents for this other heart keychain, all crystally looking. And is that everything? No, 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 it's not. We got some little kitty cat earrings. They're like yellow or green. What color would you say that is? Yellow, green, kitty cat earrings, like that. And then there were some other just like loose bits. Like that didn't have a mate. Oh, there was that other bag that said it was missing the mate. Ah. So this one said no match. So I think she gave me this bag for a buck. She, I guess she threw in all the, no Super Bowl, no. Threw, threw in just stuff. I like no match because that means maybe there's gold. I don't know. You think they're yellow. Okay. Um, ah. No, that fell. All right. So here's this. This was in there. So there's that. Then we have a random one clip-on butterfly earring. We have another jack. <laughs> we have, okay, this I am gonna check out if I can get it off of here, hang on. There is, I'm trying to figure it out. These little gold dice. Okay, but I want you to notice something, if I can get this thing off. Hang on, where's my magnet, first of all? Well, it's pulling to the magnet. Okay, I, hmm, I'm trying to figure out, like, is it supposed to be a ring or an earring or what? Anyway, okay, <laughs> we'll figure this out. There's that. Um, then there's another, I don't know what the, what's the story with this. So this has got, like, an earring hook and this. Is it supposed to be in the thing? Is that supposed to, oh, maybe it goes like that. Okay, that's weird. I mean, that looks like maybe, like, a San Francisco Type deal. Maybe that's what's going on with the dice too. <laughs> it's different. That's different. <laughs> How many jacks? Uh, I don't know. There we go. Okay. That's okay. Then we've got a single elephant, which I'm gonna see if I can hook on to. Come on, elephant. Are you magnetic? The elephant part is not, the hook part is. So, I don't know, we'll check him out. We'll check him out. Then we've got this eagle or bird of prey. Yeah, it looks like a San Francisco trolley, totally. We got a little heart, probably silver. And then there is another one of these over there. I see one. And where are you? You, it looks like a little, like a carousel sort of earring. That's pretty cool. Okay. And yeah, again, just like a little, another heart. This is a different shaped one. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay. Yeah, just random little one off earrings in there. I wish the mate for that was in there. That's so like whimsical, right? Okay. I'm putting these in the little box. So here we go. So. In the box. It's going in the box. Okay, so that's everything. I am gonna go test these other earrings out. All right, they're over here somewhere in my pile. And possibly, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that. And if you are on Instagram or Facebook, you know, follow me at Texas Gal Treasures and go join Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. Some of those will work on a necklace. I think you're right. That's a good idea. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks, Chrissy. Um, yeah, so let me...
let me know what you think <laughs> uh, about the haul. If you you know enjoy this, or if you found something that you liked, we'll probably be going back. I'll try to get some footage of the house because it was over the top packed with stuff. Yeah, so all of this stuff was 130 bucks, so I will have no problem making my money back for sure. Yeah, and I will, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming to hang out. Go down there and hit the, the thumbs up button. Bye, everybody.